Hey guys, it's Anna. I just woke up pretty recently and got ready for the day. Getting ready for the day pretty much means like brushing my teeth, shaving my pits, and putting on deodorant. So I did that. I'm gonna go to the gym earlier today because number one, I'm getting an exponon put in in a few hours, like the birth control implant in my arm, and I'll probably be pretty sore after that, so I won't want to work out. And then um, my house has three cars, but four of us drive, and two cars are already gone, so I need to like get out of here before that third car can have a chance to be gone but honestly I'm not worried because like I already stole the key but um I really want to avoid conflict so one of the first things I pretty much do every day before I go anywhere is walk outside for a minute um and just kind of observe observe the weather like kind of find out if I need to wear a jacket or not it's muggy I don't think I need to wear a jacket I also didn't bring a jacket from Columbus and I can't find one here, so even if it was cold I wouldn't have one so this is kind of all pointless but Gooby come back inside come on so before I leave I just want to show you what I'm gonna be um, sporting today my new Target fanny pack um, hello I don't know where it's been all my life because it's amazing it fits my wallet my phone and my keys and like that's all I need in life I hate like constantly like shifting my bag around my body and stuff. This fanny pack is just astounding. So I'm gonna finally get out of my house now. I'm literally walking out of my garage, if you can't tell, realizing that I left my beats in Columbus. So all I have is like me and my fanny pack. I don't really know if I'm equipped to go to the gym right now. I know this is me like making excuses because I've totally gone to the gym without headphones before. <sighs> I don't know if I feel like it right now, to be honest. I don't know, I'm just gonna start by getting coffee. We'll see where this goes. This is a mystery for you and me. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I just had the fabulous idea of giving you like a little car tour really quick before I go. So like, first of all, um... okay, you can't turn it around within one video. This is a beautiful luxury 2004 Chevy Impala and it has lots of features but those features don't include any way to connect your phone to the car so look at this oh my god <laughs> someone bought an aux cord for this thing oh my god it like is so ratchet it like connects to like the cassette player but oh my god i'm happy and like also like just me with this fanny pack like and my luxury vehicle i'm looking so cute also look there's a freaking sunroof like I'm gonna be riding so dirty like you know the people like with their nails like taking pictures on their like Cadillacs and Teslas and I'm just like I don't know. oh my god I just turned down one of the windows by accident and I really thought that someone was breaking into my vehicle in my driveway so there's my car door I'm just like whipping with my music like you guys don't realize how exciting this is for me I've never been able to drive this without staticky rock music play. I cannot be one of those like vlogging drivers because this is really dangerous so I'm gonna turn it off back. So honestly I parked in like not Starbucks parking lot like I swear it's right next door. I'm gonna order my shiz and come back. I got so the nitro cold brew is like my jam and I got a tall one but so like I paid for it tall and I had it put in a grande cup with sugar-free vanilla syrup and coconut milk and <laughs> it's so good like oh my god I'm so happy when I have coffee <laughs> um, my younger sister has like friends over so I think I'm gonna go like buy them breakfast like why not growing up we would always just have grocery store donuts the next day pretty much because they're cheap and kids are happy with anything so like I could totally grab those I might get like McDonald's breakfast for them I don't really know I'm like nervous I'm gonna start driving before I make up my mind so I decided on Dunkin Donuts I feel like donuts and maybe like hash browns would be good so I ended up getting half a dozen donuts and three orders of the hash browns. Let's just do a donut reveal because I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people do on YouTube. 
Yeah, these ones are weird. I feel like they were kind of just like, I don't know what the hell to do. These donuts just put a munchkin on top. So, like, I tried to ask the guy what it was, and, like, he just kind of avoided my question. So, anyways, that's what we got there. Let's bring them back home to the girls. <laughs> Coffee fanny pack moment. Honey, I'm home. I brought food for you guys. Oh, wait, they're not here? They're not here? <laughs> Elizabeth? Yeah. Elizabeth? Yeah. Are your friends still here? Oh my god, I brought food for all of you. Grab the top for a second. Maybe you guys can have breakfast in bed. Oh, thanks, it's hash Mama. browns and donuts. So, do you love me now? I always love you. Mm. Oh, that was so wholesome. I'm just getting the mail that's boring, but all you really missed was me taking a shower. And like, honestly, I don't know why I got this cute for my gynecologist to shove a hormonal rod in my arm. But here I am, so might as well go with it. I'm supposed to take like extra strength Advil before I go, but all we have in my medicine cabinet is like baby Tylenol right now, so I might just like suffer through the pain. Walking out of my garage again to go to my appointment. It's not for 45 more minutes, but um, my refrigerator, like the filter, is needing to be replaced right now, and we're out of bottled water, so I'm gonna go by. Probably a ginormous water bottle at fresh time, and yeah, we'll see. Oh my god, I just got to fresh time to buy a giant water bottle before my appointment, and like, I don't get scared for things. I don't get scared for the dentist. I don't get scared most of the time for the doctor. I'm like really scared to have this thing put in my arm. Um, I'm not even scared of needles. I don't know why I'm so scared for this. I'm so scared. The worst part here is like, I'm a nursing student, and I work in a hospital and I love doing blood draws and I like giving shots. Like I like doing it to other people. I would even want to put an explant on in another person. And like, I don't know, I just don't know why I'm scared right now. It's a confusing feeling. All right, let's see what this water selection is. nervously perusing the aisles of fresh time like I always do I ended up choosing this like giant pH fancy water and I think I'm gonna get this um, grass-fed collagen to put in it this packet has like 18 grams of protein and um, I haven't really been eating today out of just like I don't know if it's excitement or nervousness or both but so I'm gonna purchase these items now okay I'm just trying to get on film for you guys Oh, oh, don't even have it in the frame. Oh my god, look at me. So this collagen, the directions say to add it to 8 ounces of water, but since I'm going to be drinking this giant bottle throughout the day, I figured why not um, just add it to here. Oh, that is a mound of collagen. Wow. So now... We have this added to my water. Oh, this looks gross. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna ingest that. Okay, so just shaky shake. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm pretty dissatisfied right now. I was just trying to be pretty and like put college in my water, but there's dead ass clumps just floating in my water and like I'm not one to waste four dollars. I'm still gonna drink it and honestly probably gag the whole time, but things you do for beauty, right? I don't know if you can see this, but I made a tornado. I'm so amused. Oh my god. All these people watching me doing my tornado experiments in my car. I just parked. I'm really procrastinating getting out of the car because I'm super nervous. Um, I do have good news. My tornadoing made my water all clear so the only downside is it really kind of tastes like a mix of play-doh and baby cereal like the water has a slight aftertaste of that but 
There are no chunks and honestly texture is most important to me, so whatever. I'm really scared. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go inside and see what happens. I'll let you know. So, I did, in fact, survive my procedure. Um, honestly, I don't know if anyone cares, but if anyone's thinking about getting it, the worst part was probably injecting the lidocaine that numbed my arm, like, which is kind of funny. Like, the most hurtful part was getting it numbed but um yeah after that I didn't even really feel it go in I mean I could feel it in my arm now it kind of feels like a little matchstick is in there but that doesn't bother me I mean it feels kind of freeing honestly now knowing that I don't have to ever worry about taking a pill for three years like I was really good and compliant about it and I also didn't have any side effects like I never gained weight or anything crazy like that on the pill and I know that the reviews for Nexplanon are super mixed, like a lot of people really, really hate it. But that doesn't scare me because a lot of people said that about the pill I was taking and I didn't hate it. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do an update later or something, whatever, I'm going home now. Oh my god, it tastes like Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Taste. Alright, so I'm bringing... Oh. I'm bringing the doggy deuce to the groomer, um, getting them in the car was really, <coughs> oh my god, it was a struggle, so I couldn't record it, but, we're off. We have some, uh, nervous Nellies back here, just crying, it's fine. Definitely not distracting me or anything. Oh my god. My dogs literally sound like they're being abused right now. I'm gonna try. Hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm trying with one hand to take him out of the car. There we go. The pet smart. I always get so scared. And they go in the car, but I'm excited to have them groomed. Like, they just are so unruly. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're pooping and I don't have a poop bag. Oh my god. Okay, let's go find a poop bag. They just both took um, two huge dumps, and I didn't come with bags, so wish me luck finding some. I'm sure they have some, but... Oh, I found grooming. Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was such a mess. Like, I didn't even have time to lock my car because they're going so crazy. So, I'm finally home. And I think I might end this vlog right here. I think I'm gonna eat some dinner. I need to work on a workout plan that I'm writing for my cousin. And then just kind of get settled and um, get all my stuff together because I'm going back to Columbus tomorrow morning to resume normal life. Um, it's always kind of nice coming home for a few days and just being f with everyone. But I'd be lying if I said I don't miss Columbus at this point, even after like 48 hours. Thank you. Where did you get this dog? Uh, it was like at this, it was cheaper because it was at like this Amish thing. You go to the Amish? Yeah. All right, all right, Paula listen, Deadass Paula, comes Paula, home with a dog. Oh Winnie! I'm not complaining. Oh, I really hope Hazel doesn't kill Mom's him. Mom's getting a heart attack, Paula. Paula, Paula, I think Mom is actually going to pass out when but she gets why? home. Yeah. Oh my god, I so thought my vlog was over. Home. My vlog has just begun. Oh my god, Juana, thank you so much for this beautiful pedicure. No problem. Okay. One more time. I'm so worried. My mom, like, oh, really. She has, like, a fragile mental state. She's already so fragile, and, like, this third dog might be the thing to push her over the edge. Like, I'm really yeah, scared. Okay, because Paul, Paul will be in a stark state, so she'll have to be able to. When she, she won't go. Don't you think your mom won't let you keep him? I don't know. Mom's gonna make you return him. Mom's gonna <gasps> literally make you return him. How can you return that? that? Put him on me. Also, like, I didn't know you had a vlog channel. Um, well, this is a new thing. Like, as of today, so. Yeah, he's so tall. I hate it. I want to be mad so badly, but he's so cute. That's he's an Aries. Or no, not really. He's a Pisces. Yeah, you're a Pisces. You're before the cutoff. I am before the cutoff. I'm
Wait. <laughs> Look at him in the pouch of my dress. Oh, okay, you're getting out. Okay, let's see what the damage is. Hello. Do you know that it's not Matthew's dog and it's Paula's dog? No, I know. Where's mom? Does she know that? Yeah, mom knows. And she's okay? It's not Matthew's dog, it's actually Paula's. Paula yeah, are you kidding it. me? No, Joel. It was, it's Matthew's. No, no it's, it's Paula's. This is Matthew's dog. She's, no. She's babysitting it. She literally said. No, she, she got it from Amish it. country. She paid In 300. Amish country, 300. You guys are We're not messing with you. She came home with the dog. He said, guys, I bought a dog. It's Matthew. This is not this is this Matthew's dog or not? It's Matthew's dog. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Why would you buy all that stuff? <laughs> I didn't it's stuff. All I want to see your guys' reactions to getting a new dog. <laughs> you can text me, I can show you it. Can we like buy a dog? Then why do you have we were just praying because this is said, Paula's said, friend's dog. It is not you? her <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just spam boozled. Matthew, do you want to be on my vlog? Oh my god, I have two subscribers. <laughs> We left the house because we, my mom would. I, we thought she would be so mad about like so they home a dog. They're like, they're like, tell us when mom's home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me All right, guys. So I think I'm actually gonna end the video here for real this time. Um, it's like almost nine o'clock now, and I'm a grandma, so it's getting to be my bedtime. Thank you so much for watching my shenanigans. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to edit this and all that jazz um, as a good practice for future videos. So like, subscribe, comment, whatever you two people say, and I'll see you in the next one.